Hi everyone, Bernard here. Hope you're all well and staying safe and welcome to my film and TV channel. And we're going to the world of drama today and we're going to the UK and we're going to ITV. So there we go. It's, uh, this is going to be available on the ITV hub and elsewhere. I'll tell you about that later on. We've got a, a four episodic drama. Psychological. I mean it's time of year now isn't it? Supernatural thriller this is classed as please we're going to have a little talk about the sister today please if you're new to the channel push that subscribe button push the bell notification so you know when these vlogs are coming out that'd be absolutely fantastic if you just check my playlist there you'll see lots of things film reviews tv drama reviews and also uh, vlogs on my football team manchester city so if that's of any interest to you whatsoever please uh have a look at that or point someone in that my direction. Uh, I do things on history of Manchester City and stuff that's going on now. So please, if anyone's interested in that. But if it's just film, TV and drama you want to have a look at and perhaps the odd post and the odd quiz, then uh, please stick with this one. This is my film and TV channel. Yeah, so please, we can kind of get to 500 subscribers by Christmas 2020. So any help we can get, you know, give give people a push. Give give me a mention. That would be absolutely fantastic. I want to get that five. 500 subscribers if I can by December the 25th 2020 so your support very much appreciated and leave your comments any comments you've got to make on this or anything else doesn't have to be on this uh, particular thing uh, just leave some comments in no time for a comment a nice thumbs up is always good know you're out there it's nice to get views but it's nice to get thumbs up it's nice to I love doing these things but it's nice to know people are out there and, uh, and actually enjoying them hopefully I try to entertain and inform at the same time yes the sister it was also known or well, the original title, this was called Because the Night. Um, obviously that was changed to The Sister, which I don't know, I think I prefer Because the Night, to be honest with you. Um, Russell Tovey stars in this with Bertie Carvel, Amrita Akaria and Nina Toussaint White. Directed by Niall McCormick. And the writer, well, it's the writer of Luther. If you watch, if you like the Luther TV series, the guy who wrote the... I assume he wrote the books as well because he wrote the book for this called Burial back in 2009. Uh, yeah, what's it about? Well, the four episodes, almost a decade into his new devoted married life, Nathan is rocked to the core when Bob, Bob, an unwelcome phase from the past turns up on his doorstep with shocking news, triggering a series of catastrophic decisions. Any good? Well, there's not a lot of critic thing on this. It's mainly Joe Public, etc. So I've had a little quick look at Internet Movie Database. The first couple of episodes, it was getting about 6 out of 10, which wasn't great. But I've just checked now, and 265 people have managed to watch this and leave scores and reviews, etc. Uh, and on that 265 scores, it's only getting a 5.8 out of 10 on Internet Movie Database, which isn't fantastic, isn't it? But if you look ind individually at the episodes themselves, I mean, episode 1 scores 6. 6.8, episode 2 scored 6.5, episode 3 scored 6.4, there is a definite trend in this, and episode 4 scored 6, so I mean there was a trend from 6.8 down to 6. Some of the comments, um, there's a few more comments now, I had a quick look the other day, there's a few more comments on it. There's some positivity on it, don't get me wrong, but a lot of the written comments weren't very flattering to be honest with you. Um, these are some of the comments, just quoting some of the comments. I like it, someone said. Uh, someone else said, very difficult to care about any of it, which is fair enough. Someone else said it was boring as hell. I'm sure, I'm sure hell's not that boring. Someone said, downright boring for the most part. None of the characters were likeable. They were boring, static, and two dimensional. This is a boring, boring uh, uh, thing following this, isn't it? Boring, static, and two dimensional. There was no growth. Uh, someone else wrote, a really weak cast or just the wrong cast. Yeah, that's an interesting point, actually. I never felt sorry for Nathan at all. Neither did I. In fact, I was rooting for him to fall in the end, which I'm not sure was the writer's idea. So whether he does or not, do you end up rooting for him? Who knows? Did I? Not particularly. Uh, someone else said, well, I give it two out of five based on a couple of surprises, but don't waste your time waiting for those. Yeah, I mean, a bit more on that in my little views. Neil Cross has made me cross. Hey, oh, Neil Cross is the writer, obviously. Well done, Neil. You've succeeded there. Uh, the first three episodes are stellar, this says someone else. So we do have some positivity. 
great at unravelling the story and building tension. There's also great performances from Russell Tovey and Bertie Cavell. I think this is one of the right. This is uh, I think this is Mr. Cross himself writing this. However, the ending is just meh. Oh, perhaps not. It's not terrible, but it's not particularly satisfactory either. It's just meh. I mean, that's the best bit for me. I'll, to be honest with you, I'm not going to say it was great and it was a great ending, but of, of the whole thing, at least the ending had a little bit of tension. <laughs> Uh, well worth a watch, but far from the best thing I've seen recently. Well, I can't, I can't, I can't say anything against that. Someone else wrote it lacks tension. Well, they obviously probably didn't get to the last to, to sort of a, a ten minute section of episode four by uh, by saying that. Plus, there's a couple of other people coming commenting about the supernatural element which I'll also talk about as well right yeah so that's other people's views as I said generally it's not great uh, to get a 5.8 out of 10 this early early it's probably not going to get much higher than that on internet movie database if anything it'll probably get a little bit less um, but uh, I think a lot I think a lot of people give up on this to be honest even though it's only four episodes it's only four 42 minute episodes if you think about it. it's ITV so it's got to struggle a bit if people are giving up on it uh, yeah, my little thoughts. Here we go for what they're worth. Russell Tover, yes, Mr. Russell Tover. Um, he would never, ever, ever be my choice for a lead in in any production, whatever. Whether it's just a normal drama, a supernatural thriller, etc., etc. Is to me, he's more a backup actor at best, and he's not very good at he's not very good at that. But you know, does that make this a backup series? Well, you know. Possibly by the scores there, as you can see. I mean, also you got Bertie Carvel as Bob. I mean, it's just it's just silly. I mean, I I, I do like Bertie Carvel. I've seen him in other things, and he's been okay. But uh, he's got he's he's come out with this stupid voice, and it would have been far better uh, actually watching it without that stupid voice. I mean, I'm not sure what the director and people were thinking, just letting him use that voice. You know, just use a normal normal voice. There's no need for it. I mean, he's, he's playing a bit of a crazy man anyway, which is fair enough. But you don't you don't need this crazy you don't need the crazy stupid voice with it. And it was uh, very disappointing. Uh, chemistry throughout for all the all the people, even even all the actors. And obviously, there's, there's two or three. There's a, det a female detective and other other and obviously the wife, etc. And the girl that's gone missing. This sort of thing. Uh, yeah, the actors in themselves are okay, but there's not a lot of chemistry between between all all the characters when they're on screen. To be honest, it's very very weak and very very poor. Uh, first episode or two, there's quite a number of flashbacks, uh, flashbacks and forwards, and. Uh, Perhaps a necessary evil to tell the story story early on, but uh, they did grow a little tiring for me, especially for my old brain. At least uh, got a little gets a little confused quite easily. I mean, fortunately the story is not that complicated that you can't sort it all out. And fortunately, they do get less if you stick with it. They do get less and less as the episodes progress. So by episode three or four, we don't really get it. But uh, obviously, they, we get them thrown at us a little bit in the early episodes. Uh, and that's if you stick with it. I mean, that's a big if anyway. If you, if, I'll say a lot of people haven't actually stuck with this. Uh, a couple of episodes in, you pop, possibly of the 84 minutes, which is what a couple of episodes adds up to on an ITV drama. You've probably got about 20 minutes of content. So you've probably got about a quarter of it. Is actually quite interesting. There's a lot of going over the same sort of thing, and there is a supernatural side that's introduced very early on, and it is called a supernatural, obviously in the description of what this series is. Uh, but it's very, very weak, and it's never, it's never really progressed. And again, it's sort of um, e even towards the end of the series, it does hint it, it does hint it again, but it's all little, too little, too late. Uh, it's very, very weird. Uh, Tovey's. Tovey's character, uh, Nathan, his, his decisions are very, very weird. And he's it, just a very unlikable character. They bo all, both leads are, in a way. Um, and there's no no single character in the whole series I could really invest in. He, even his poor, poor, despairing wife. I couldn't I couldn't really invest in her character either. Um, by episode four, at last, we had a bit of tension building, a bit of tension in episode four. So, and it led to a, a small twist or two, which uh, I wasn't not going to say I was totally uh, uh, saw coming. But so it's it's interesting to get a couple of okay twists. So at least that's shown that someone on the writing side or on some side made a little bit of effort. But uh, again, pretty much too little, too late. So four episodes that could have possibly be condensed at the end of the day into probably a 90-minute feature, into a 90-minute film. Would it have been a good film? Not, not 
particularly. I mean, if only they'd expanded the supernatural element, because there was, was that there. I've not read the book. I have no real interest in going back and reading the book, to be honest with you, based on this. But uh, whether it was it was more in there, I'm, I'm not too sure. But uh, it certainly wasn't expanded in this. And if you think about it, I mean, it would have made some sense, wouldn't it, to expand the supernatural element with it being uh, aired on the lead up to Halloween, which is what it is. So, I mean, just, just would have... It's silly, really, to just... Uh, gloss over that and as I say it wasn't it didn't didn't really ex you know the little glimpses of it for all oh, there might be might be more supernatural here but as I say they're very few and far between and obviously the um it is set up for a second series if you like and it is uh, yeah I'm not going to give too much I don't give any spoilers away I mean obviously the supernatural element obviously comes into it uh, towards the end of the series as well as so it start at the beginning you get it and at the end you get it and in the middle it's never it's really fudged and nothing really happens but uh, yeah it's such a shame they couldn't have expanded on that and done a lot better with it uh, by the end by the last episode I was sort of sort of not convinced but I was sort of uh, made to think it wasn't a total disaster it wasn't a total waste of uh what over three hours if you take the take the adverts out i mean if you if you're watching it on the uh, icv hub you can't even take out all the all the adverts so that doesn't that doesn't help but uh so yeah by the last episode i was thinking it's not a total disaster but to be honest with you a lot of people wouldn't have got that far a lot of people would have got bored with it by episode two or three to be honest with you. because i thought episode one was okay i thought it was a, a reasonable hook to say yeah i'll go back and watch episode two but Two and three did really struggle. So overall, I think it was quite disappointing and unfortunate. Uh, as I said, I've, uh, the book, yeah, I've seen some reviews on the book and some, so there's some good reviews, some bad reviews. So it was a bit like this, really. But uh, obviously, I don't think, uh, I don't think I'll be rushing out too much. Uh, although I do like Luther. If you think about it, this guy's wrote Luther. I do, I do, I have enjoyed the Luther series. Obviously, they're quite quirky, and this isn't. This is pretty formulaic and a bit, a bit monotonous, to be honest with you. So my rating. Yeah, based on the fact that by the by the ending, it sort of not rescued itself, but it was certainly a bit better. I'm just going to give it the sat on the fence 5.5 out of 10. I wouldn't put you off watching it, but obviously I think someone I read in one of the reviews where he said there's a lot, so much better out there than there is. There's so much better on there if you, if you check the channels and check the box sets of the, so much better mystery thrillers and certainly a lot, lot better supernatural thrillers because just forget that because it isn't, there isn't... Say it touches upon it, but it doesn't expand enough. So I'm going to give it 5.5 .5 out of 10. Because, I mean, if you look at the episodes individually, uh, I would sort of rate episode 1 as a 6, episode 2 as a 5, episode 3 as a 4, and then episode 4 I'd, I'd rate as a 6 again. So, I'm, yeah, I'm coming up with about a 5.5. .5, and as I say, because there's at least 10 or 15 minutes at least of the last episode that did catch me, did did make me sort of, ooh, you know, watch it adamantly and keep me on the edge of my seat for like 10 or 15 minutes. Anyway, that's not bad, is it? Out of 42 minutes. Uh, so, yeah, that's my overall score. Anyway, thanks for watching that. It's actually available to own on DVD, if you want to own it on DVD, on November the 2nd, 2020. So, as I'm recording this, it's about three days' time. So, there you go. If you want to buy this, if you did like it and you want to buy it, it's 13 99 on DVD. And if you're outside of the UK, obviously, please check your subscription service. But it's on the ITV hub here in the UK now for you to catch up with. And it's also going to be available on Hulu in the United States. I don't, I'm not aware of who for Australia at the moment. No, there's no one picked it up as far as I know, but... Uh, um, that's the official sites anyway for you to actually stream and watch that anyway I hope you enjoyed that please check my links on screen if you're a friend or follow me on Facebook and Twitter I do check every couple of days and friend and follow everyone back as I said please check out, please check out all my playlists and uh, my little day job moviegamenostalgia.com I used to own a, a video shop in Manchester in the 90s and 2000s so I do still sell old and rare DVDs on my site plus uh, old posters from the 90s and 2000s some great actors some great films as well and board games on there so if you can have a look at moviegamenostalgia.com much appreciated right thank you for watching please let me know what you think anyway if you get to watch this or you give up on it after an episode or two and i certainly am not going to blame you i'm not going to blame you for doing that but uh, yeah i mean if it hadn't been for that last episode i probably would have been scoring it between four and four and a half to be honest with you only that sort of that last episode pushed me up to that 5.5 .5. Anyway, thanks for watching. What I'm going to do the rest of the day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. Until we meet again, please. Stay safe, everyone. Bird is saying goodbye for now.